One of the common questions which I always get from the students is that post installation, they are unable to open the Informatica administration console page. The one which you're seeing on the screen is related to a database connection issue, failed to connect to the database. Here, it clearly shows that the password has expired, which means now you have to reset the password of your database and make sure you're connecting to the database and then start the Informatica services. Then you will be able to access your administration console page. How do you reset the password for your system account or the InfraRep account for which you have created your repository content? You just use this command called alter user. Uh, let's say the username is InfraRep, identified by InfraRep, or whatever password you want to do, and then InfraRep, right? If this is not working, a simple thing is to go to google.com, reset Oracle system password. You see these steps here. These are for Oracle 10G and 11G. Alter user system identified by Oracle, which is similar to what we have here. System is the username identified by the password, right? So this is for the SQL command, those are the steps, but if you have any specific tools like SQL Developer, you just look for that, which are already given, right? You just go here, check what they're doing, and you should be able to reset the password. Once you reset the password, don't forget to go to your services, look for Informatica, start the services, right? And once you start it, give it some time for about five to ten minutes based on the ram size of your machine of your personal machine and then you should be able to see the administration page so that's the issue which we are seeing here for this particular request now there are other reasons why you'll not be able to access your administration console it's definitely not the password how do you know that so this is a dbver it's not a SQL developer uh, like I've traditionally shown. This is a dbver tool. It's kind of a universal database connector. It can connect to multiple databases. At, a, at any point of time, you can see all this list here. So this is a little easy compared to a SQL developer. Again, it's your personal choice on what you want to choose. So I connected to Oracle here. I go to schemas. My Informatica repository tables are using the InfraRap schema. So I make sure I double click on it or you know make sure that i'm able to access the tables look at the content of the tables etc which shows that i have access which shows that it's not a password issue and database is working fine right once i see that so once i've done with that i'll go to the directory where i have installed informatica i can look for the file or i'll simply search for a file called catalina.out in the directory where I've installed Informatica, and then I would get the catalina.out file. It is nothing but a log file under the node directory, where it'll show me the reason of why I'm not able to connect to the administration console or why the connection between the database and Informatica did not happen. Based on the issue which I see in the catalina.out file, I should be able to find out what has caused the issue and fix that. Now, the other common error which comes up at any time here is memory leak. That memory leak is totally because of the RAM availability. And it's very common that the memory leak happens even if you have 16 gigs of RAM on your PC because you might have opened other applications which are using that uh, RAM or there are some backend processes which are running. Simple solution there is to start both of your Oracle services, Informatica services, close all of your programs which you're not using, and then start the services again to check if it's working. So this is the file I was talking about. It's in your directory, logs, node 01. Let's open that with Notepad++. I'll go to the end by clicking Control and end on the keyboard. And you could see that this is very likely a memory leak. So the web application appears to have started a thread. Now I have multiple programs running on this, which is the primary reason for this to happen. So I'll give it a try once again. If it does not, I'll close all the applications, restart the PC. Just make sure that the Oracle services, Informatica services are running, and then I'll start the services again. 
let me also look for another file called exception file so i'll go go directly to log and nodes so i'm in informatica v10 logs and node and see this exception.logs let's open that as well and i'll go to the end here to see the service manager cannot start the service port number is not in use restart the service so this could be happening for two reasons because my http port is being currently used because i'm connected to some other network like i said if it is not connecting stop all the services all the applications which you're using try it once if you're still getting the same issue restart your pc don't open any other applications just make sure that your oracle services informatica services are up and running keep an eye on these two files to make sure that there are no errors and then you should be able to access your admin console all right let me know if you have any other questions in the comments i'll help you with that Yeah. <laughs>